Under health care reform, most people with low or no income can now get free medical insurance and care through clinics called medical homes. Why should you sign up for health care? I think, I think everyone's had uh, uh, terrifying experiences with doctors, especially in the ER. They, they treat you like you're just a zombie coming in there, you know. No insurance. Uh, doctors don't have time. Uh, they don't want to see you. And they'll treat you like, you know, like uh, um, just like you know, a third class citizen, I guess. I went to the emergency room because I had a really bad abscess and the doctor was very rude. He just squeezed and squeezed without any pain medicine, and it was just terrible. My arm was broken, and he just said, oh, because you use meth fat, that's why I'm not giving you no medicine, and he would not give me nothing at all. He put it, me on blast in front of the whole um, office, in front of everybody. You ask questions, and you want to give the answer, but if there's other people in the room, you're kind of nervous and embarrassed because you know, once you show your arms, they're really, really scarred. And the doctor was, uh, she was more worried about how this homeless man is gonna pay for his visit than what was really wrong with me. I work for the public health department downtown. It's, it's best to have health care before you go to the emergency room because if not, you're gonna sit there for a long time. They're just gonna basically set you aside and ignore you for as long as they can. Sometimes you need to see a doctor. My, uh, my needle use, my abscesses. Um. My high blood pressure. I have uh, acid reflux. I've had a runny nose for about three, three months now, so. I've got no feeling in my hands right now. I haven't had feeling in my hands for four years. Finding a health home now can keep a problem from becoming an emergency. Your primary, your primary doctor. That's the one that's gonna help the most. Try and get a doctor that has experienced it before, has experience with people that have used drugs. Make sure you pick one that is not gonna judge you on what you do or what you use. Uh, the first time she was terrible. And since I've talked to her and told her how I felt about her and how her priorities really were sucked, basically, it's all changed. She talks to me, she tells me what's up, you know, she, she's more interested in what, how I feel now. We all deserve care from a doctor who knows us. I think I think having an actual uh, doctor of your own, uh, this, it's just a more personal experience. You're going to get someone that knows you. You're going to get someone that knows your your uh, your issues that you're having in the past. Yeah, I feel like having a personal doctor is definitely a better a better choice. You can get health care. We will help you. Be patient. Ask for what you need.